Charles on it. Charles would jam him every single play, and we have somebody over the top every single play. That, that's the way it was going to be all game long. Um, every once in a while we'd go man, but we absolutely had to, but um, we couldn't do it versus Randy. I mean, he, was, he was fun to, out there. He just he played hard. And, yeah, come in. His voice was so high pitch when he started talking. Um, but it was fun, 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 fun competitor. Future fans see your blessed kid. What do you hope they say about you as they look back? I hope it looks like me. I hope, you know, that's what I hope for. Um, I hope they can see or realize that I, how much fun I had when I played the game. I think that's the one thing I want people to realize is that I had a great time when I was out there. Uh, win, lose, whatever. I still had fun when I was playing football. And I hope people can take that away from, from my career. You're always going to be associated with the city of Chicago. What is yeah. your relationship with that city? It's awesome. I mean, that's home for me, basically. And I grew up in New Mexico, but I moved from you know, work to me there. So it's, uh, that's home for us. I love it. I love the people. Uh, people are so nice. Early on in my career, knowing who I was, people were always nice to me. You mentioned the fans. Focus when I got there, that's a lot really good. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a choice. When you join a team that's had so many retired numbers, you probably don't have so many options. You don't, yeah, you know, and I think they have retired Buckets and Singletary recently, right? So, yeah, there's not a lot of choices when you go there. Nobody asked you? Nobody uh, cared about your preference? No, I was a rookie. They got, I showed up and teammates said, here's your locker, here's your number. Okay, thanks, Tony. Does the bust have uh, hair? No, 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 no hair. Uh, I've only been asked that question 6,000 times. Well, <laughs> I've only seen your dope boards on 294, 16,000 times. <laughs> That's why I moved. That's why I'm good until I got out of there. That's how I see myself. Yeah. Brian, what do you say to kids like you that didn't get much looks in the college ranks and uh, still made it big like you did? You, they're going to find you. If you can play, they'll find you. I just think if you love the game enough and, and you're passionate about it and you want to keep playing, there's, there's a place to play. You know? So just keep, keep working. That's all you can do. How did you get hooked up with UNM? What, what got you connected there? The album is scholarship. That was the only offer I got. That's how I got met. <laughs> yeah, the Coach Fran, I went on a visit. The only visit I took, and Coach Fran, we had a meeting on Sunday. He goes, we want to offer you a scholarship. If you don't take it now, we'll give it to somebody else. So I'll take it. <laughs> so that's how it went. You talked about going to the game or to the lunch and with Bodkiss and Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. How does you play for the Jaguars? Don't have that experience. You know? Sure. Yeah. How, do you, how do you learn how to how do you learn how to use that? And, and it takes some time to kind of let that fuel you a little bit. Yeah, I just. The, the tradition and history of, of the Bears is unmatched. Like I said before, I'm a 28 guy going in. Um, it's amazing to think of what, what the franchise has done. You know, the family, the McCaskey family, the house family, just keeping that tradition alive. Right now, what they've done with that franchise. Um, it's, it's amazing. What was it like having those two touchdowns? Jumps. I have five, right? Yeah. It's almost like I had two. I had more than that, man. I have more than two right now. Um, <laughs> First I think one was the big one. 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 The I think I was nervous. I dropped it at the time. I was real nervous. But uh, that, that's what What did the, co the coaches say to you when you dropped it in practice? Oh, I'm sure Coach Sharon didn't want to run that play. You know, <laughs> uh, it was the second time I dropped it. Of course, I, I dropped it. I got some flack from the guys out there. But, you know, when, when the game rolls around, you don't have time to think about it. You know, Coach called it on the dime. He called it quick and hesitated to call it. We ran it to perfection. Speaking of plays or a series of plays, in, in your mind, that you serve? The player a series of plays that you remember, that's in your mind how you want fans to remember you. Um, I'd say 2001 versus Atlanta, um, the whole game for me was, I don't like looking at my stats, but I had a good game. I had a, a, a sack, a pick, a cause fumble, a recover fumble, a touchdown, three or four tackles for loss, and probably eight or nine tackles. Just, the whole stat sheet was filled up for me. I think that that was my capabilities. To, I, could, I feel like I do that every game. You know, I mean, score a touchdown, but my capabilities, you know, that was my ceiling that I could, I feel like I could do that every single game. When I spoke with Chris Burns earlier, and I asked him about his class, is this the greatest class? He said, if he was coaching class with you all day, that he could make it to the playoffs. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> This is a great class. I'm very humbled to be a part of it. You know, you look at some of the greatest players of all time. And this guy's like, Randy, what he did, great race with you know, 
played about 17 years. Yeah, a long time. Um,